Hi, my name is Jeremy Nomeyer. I'm an Open MM Fellow here at uh, Stanford uh, for the summer of 2014. And my project is constant pH molecular dynamics. So you might be asking, what is molecular dynamics? Molecular dynamics, or MD, is the most widely used technique in biomolecular simulation. It uses a ball and stick model for atoms and bonds, and electrostatic and dispersion uh, terms for the non-bounded interactions. This approach has been so successful that in 2013 the Nobel Prize was awarded to Martin Karplus, Michael Levitt, and Ariel Warschel for their pioneering work in the development of this technique. So what is constant pH? Well, pH is essentially another word for proton concentration. And constant pH is another way of saying that we keep the concentration of protons at a constant value while allowing the protons to jump from site to site. So the standard ball and stick model doesn't allow for this type of modeling, so we'd like to add this in as a feature of constant pH molecular dynamics. This actually happens in nature with considerable frequency, and it's very important, particularly for cases when a drug needs to adopt a different protonation state to facilitate binding. Another example that is of particular interest, I think, to the folding at home community is that a protonation state on an amino acid may change and form salt bridges, which may result in one folding pathway being favored over another. So we think that being able to study these types of effects at uh, large timescales will really transform our thinking about biomolecular simulation. So the method that we're using is briefly a an alchemical perturbation when we gradually grow a charge on one protonation state and gradually disappear a charge on another residue. And we do this in a sort of slow growth or alchemical method in order to allow the adjacent residues to relax to the new protonation state that we are introducing. And then we add the additional step of accepting or rejecting this trial move with a Monte Carlo criterion. So our current implementation is working for implicit solvent. Very soon we hope to have a explicit solvent formulation working. I think um, just a few comments on using OpenMM. I had great experience with it. I was able to get it up and running in about a week and I was able to learn the code and uh, find out how all the functionality worked. I had a great experience here. I wanted to thank the OpenMM group for having me this summer and I hope to continue this collaboration and I think it's great science.